Hey everyone, it's Brian with RV Traveling 6. Today I'm going to come to you with a helpful POV tip. Uh, that's probably your own vehicle if you don't know the uh, military lingo. <laughs> so uh, today I'm a big K&N uh, user. Every vehicle we've owned, if they've uh, supplied or, or created a K&N filter, I typically purchase it and put it on our vehicle. One filter costs you the same as a disposable filter, uh, but K&N filters are lifetime filters. You can actually buy a recharge kit and clean them and then allow them to dry, reapply the oil, and then put them back in your vehicle. And so over time, I save a lot of expenses uh, with replacing the filters and this allows the K&N air filter itself allows the vehicle to have more fresh air coming into it. And so, um, get better fuel mileage, uh, performance. And so, uh, so today I was going to go ahead and show you how, because I've had many ask me, uh, how I actually, um, recharge or actually clean the filter and then get it set to, to go back in the vehicle. So let's take a look. Uh, as you can see, the, the filter is pretty filthy, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it today. Uh, I'll get all these bugs and, and dirt and grime out of it. And so I'll go ahead and spray it down and let it set for a little bit. And then we'll take a, uh, a regular water hose. I'm going to use my outside uh, faucet from the motorhome to actually clean it. Um, but you don't want to use a high pressure hose or anything like that. Just a plain Jane uh, hose is fine. So. Uh, so I got the uh, the filter set out. Here's the recharge kit. Uh, you can purchase these at uh, most Walmarts, but uh, I had a difficulty this last time. I needed a new kit. Uh, so I had to go to uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I know they carry them at O'Reilly, and uh, sometimes you can find them at Napa. I'm sure they, they do carry them. So as far as the kit, it's gonna come with an actual cleaning solution. And there's actual instructions on the side uh, so you don't have to come back and rewatch my video unless you want to. You actually have a uh, cleaning solution. You apply this. Uh, of course, you want to follow the directions. Then you also have the the oil. Uh, this is what you'll use to reapply back to the filter. Uh, you don't put it in dry. You do have to apply oil, but it's not a great amount. So, so let's go ahead and apply the cleaning solution to the filter and then we'll get ready to clean it off. With this portion being done, uh, we'll go ahead and take it on the other side and set it out to actually dry. And then once it's dried, uh, we'll go ahead and reapply the hole and then reinsert it into the uh, air box. All right, so our filter is dry. We're gonna go ahead and uh, apply a light coat of wool back on it. So what you'll do is you'll actually come out two to three foot and just put a layer. Just like that. As you can see, it'll turn pink. Uh, you don't have to cover all the white. You just want it to be light. And then I'm gonna actually take a paper towel and clean up uh, the rest of that oil residue that I kinda had to overspray. Alright, 
oil filter is now ready to be installed. That's going to be the same way you took it out. You just open up the filter, drop it in. I'll go ahead and bring you up so y'all can see it. complete you just make sure that you get your casing back in properly so that's now to complete this video uh, I did forget to mention that uh, the filter is actually good ever 50,000 miles before you actually have to clean it unless you've been on excessive uh, dirt roads something that's real dusty and sandy so as always if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up uh, go ahead and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content. If you'd like to be notified, go ahead and hit that bell. Thank you.